people like you, they only care about themselves and blah, 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 blah. And uh, she's like, you should wait 30 minutes. She actually said this, she had the nerve to say, you should wait 30 minutes till everyone else is done, then you should come. Damn, I sold 650,000 in used books on Amazon in 2015. You see that? That's fucking hustle. What's up guys? We're getting ready to go to a book sale. This is an annual book sale. This library has two sales a year and this is the fall one. Uh, we are on their mailing list so that's a tip. Sign up for the mailing list of your local libraries or any of the ones around you. And tonight is the members only preview sale so we're going to go there and you have to pay to get in. We're coming three scanners deep, three people scanning and we're going to get as much books as possible. And I'm gonna do very minimal amount of filming there at the book sale, if any at all. But I will do, besides this intro, obviously I'm gonna do a recap. Hopefully you guys enjoy this library book sale haul. What's up guys? It's the morning after the book sale. It's around 8 o'clock. I'm getting ready to go through all the books and do a recap for you guys. But first, we're going to make some coffee. Look who woke up, guys. Say hi to everybody, Luna. Hi. Aw. What's on your face, sweetie? It was a face they got, but it got messed up here. You were sleeping and it got a little ruined, huh? Let's show him. Look, show him. Mom will fix it when she gets home, huh? About to make some biscuits and gravy for breakfast. You know it. Keep going. You got this. No! There you go, Luna. I love you as big as the whole world is. I know, you already said that. I know. I love you as big as everywhere is. What? I love you a lot. Oh my god, I love you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. I want that puppy one. I want that one. Okay. You got this, Mom? Of course she does. Yeah? Because she likes face painting me. What's up guys, it's the morning after the morning after the book sale. Um, got caught up doing the bag sale the day after the book sale and taking care of some family stuff. Had a great time, but now it is, like I said, the day after the day after, or the, the morning after the morning after the book sale. So I wanted to go through some of the books that I got from the book sale. 
We ended up pulling six boxes of books from the sale. We had three people, including myself and my wife, scanning books for a little over two and a half hours. We spent four hundred and six dollars at the sale. Um, the prices were three dollars for hardback, two dollars for paperback, um, DVDs were two dollars, CDs were one dollar, and then there was some stuff that was priced individually but um, that stuff didn't really go over four or five bucks. So without further ado, let me start showing you some of the stuff I got. Okay guys, I'm gonna go through one more box of the six boxes that we did get, just to show you guys the quality of some of the books that we got, um, that you could get from a library sale. It just depends on how good is the supply of books, how many people showed up, etc. But we did pretty good this time, and I'm really stoked, so check out this box. Alright guys, so I hold on a sec, you guys have to see this. <laughs> Remember how I told you it's the day after the day after you thought it was? Yeah, that's why she has another another awesome face painting by now. It's awesome. That's so good. What kind of sound do you make? Meow. So all in all we ended up getting six boxes of books for $406 at an average price of about two to three dollars each so do the math on the units. We had three people scanning for two and a half hours. Um, we did pretty good. Also like I said we did go back for the five dollar bag sale the next day and we ended up getting 17 bags of books. So that's actually gonna be my next video. I'm gonna do a review on the 17 bags of books that we got. Our um, expected profit for this uh, $406 spend um, is roughly around $2,400 profit in those six boxes of books. So we did extremely well. We got a lot of high dollar books, some were high high rank books but the subject and the title is there and of course we check the camels and the camels are popping check it out there was this crazy lady she was I don't know what her deal was but she was an older lady she was probably about 60 60 ish I don't know and um, she was super wound up and right in the beginning of the sale, the first thing I did was I go to the DVDs and just start bagging them up because when DVDs are $5 a bag, you don't have to be a genius to know you can make a profit and you don't even have to look at them, you know? It's not like I'm scanning them, I'm just taking armfuls 
armfuls of DVDs and putting them in the bag. And, the, and uh, I'm not touching anyone, I'm not being rough, I'm not being frantic. Uh, I was actually the only person over there for a few minutes until some other people showed up. And then I was even letting people, you know, when they were leaning over and looking at a specific item, I was letting them look at it and waiting till they looked away till I would grab that area to put into my bags. And this lady just started flipping out on me talking about how rude it was that I was grabbing things without looking at it and yada yada and it's just like, I was just telling her, lady, these are for sale. I have a right to buy them just as much as you. Like, I don't need to look at them. The price is very cheap. I'm just loading up. And she just went on with the personal insults talking about, I know people like you, they only care about themselves and blah, 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 blah. And uh, she's like, you should wait 30 minutes. She actually said this, she had the nerve to say, you should wait 30 minutes till everyone else is done, then you should come. And I was kind of shocked, like, who does this lady think she is that she gets to to go before me? And, and so I just straight up asked her, I was like, ma'am, how much money do you donate to the friends of the library? Because I donate a lot of money, hundreds of dollars to them every year. And I'm just here to shop and I don't need this. And um, eventually another customer um, chimed in and just told the lady to calm down. You know, it's a book sale, whatever, for the library, just chill out. And, uh, but it was crazy. I was trying to be Mr. Nice Guy and she almost won. She almost defeated me. I almost allowed her to make me angry. And, uh, but I didn't. And I kept my cool. And uh, in the end, I came out winning. So, and she just looked like a crazy old lady. So, it's important to know that you're gonna run into those people in this line of work and uh, you can't let it get under your skin. I don't know what uh, what the deal is, you know? So, just be, be polite, you know? It's cliche, but just kill them with kindness, you know? You wanna kill them, that's the only way. Just a little story I wanted to share with you about my haul. Thank you so much for watching this video. You know I appreciate your attention. If you guys aren't subscribed to my channel, I would really appreciate your subscription. So just go ahead and press that red button right there. That big red button, boom, press it. Until the next hustle, peace.